Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Darkfall the Journal. This is part four and I've been quite busy, honestly. Uh, I've made a couple of little diagrams, uh, a couple of notes and stuff, and I actually managed to crack the code. We'll go over that in a moment. Um, so yeah, I made a diagram of all the cavern symbols, and it seems like we're going to be finding all of these at some point during the game, and possibly what they're called as well. The top one, the one we found last time in 2C, uh, the one that looks like a key is called Lusser. Uh, the second one down is the one we found at the Theodolite. Uh, I don't have a name for that one, although it might be called Kars, as in K-A-R-S, because I think that's what um, my brother had an infatuation with, as we read on the the, uh, the PDA. Um, and I think, oh no, no, the, the fifth one, we've also found the fifth one, that was in 2B inside the clock, I think, but I don't know what that's called yet. But, uh, yep, I'm just going to keep that by my side so I can fill it out as we progress through the game. Now, the code, the code that we found last time, I, uh, I actually managed to crack while I was at work, to be honest. <laughs> I wrote this all down on a piece of paper, took it to work, and when I had some downtime, I was just looking at it, and I noticed a couple of patterns, like GSV kept turning up. GSV actually turned out to be T-H-E, it was the, um, and, you know, with the letters that we already had, everything fell into place eventually, after, like, an hour or so. Uh, so it actually says, guard the skin with your life. I know I sound like a madman. Edith is feeling inclined to phone the police. You must trust me. There is a great evil with us here in the hotel. My research is going well. I just need time. Do not open your door this night to anyone. So... It was pretty cool to crack the code and everything, but that was more or less useless. Unless there's a code embedded within that translation, you know? So, um, it, it unfortunately is not going to help us un unlock that box. Uh, what else was there? Actually, I think it's in here. Is it in here? Is this the bathroom? Yeah, yeah. I missed something. This is very well hidden. Check this out. The top half of a photograph. Uh, sandstone, wood. We've got these symbols that we've seen a couple times in graffiti and on various things. Uh, but sandstone and wood. There you go. Obviously, I have to find the bottom half of the photograph as well. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I had another look at the, the stars as well. The one that I comment on, or the one that the astronomer comments on, where is it? Hmm. Nope, 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 nope. This one. Brighter than the rest. I don't recognize it at all. Yes. I think that might be on one of the star charts, but I can't confirm. I think I might deal with that later on, because right now, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to the third floor. Good Christ, it's taken a long time to have a look around this hotel, hasn't it? I remember back in part two, I thought I could do it in one video. Two hours later, here we are. But um, yeah, let's go back to the stairs. And let's go up. All right, no turning left or right. What about this? Looks pretty good, let's move on. Okay. Go and examine the drawing, that's all right. What about the door? It's open. Okay. Anything? Nope, no activity in this room. Let's just see, what are we dealing with here? Uh, okay. I've got a book here. The History of Alchemy. Oh, good Christ. <laughs> I don't know if I want to start this heavy. So, hmm, I don't know. Maybe pause the video and I'll read this later on. Okay, thankfully it was just those two pages. What about this one over here? Pagan power, earth forces, okay. All right, yeah. Water, chalk, bronze, sandstone, wood, mercury. I'm sure that's probably related to the photo we saw at the top half of the photo. Okay, okay. All right, yeah, again, I'll have a look at that later on. We've got some coat hangers. I seem to be drawn to coat hangers downstairs, but not this time. Nothing on the top shelf, no. Uh, okay, let's back away. Anything on the seat? No? The window? What's up here? The Dorset Photographic Guild is pleased to present uh, Mr. Crabtree with the annual award for photographic excellence. Right. Field of capturing nature. Sure. Let's take a look at the bedside cabinet. Yeah? Okay. Oh, God. More books. What do we got? Great Expectations by Charles Dickens there. Ancient Times. Right. A Warning to the Curious. Okay, the only one I can actually have a look at is this. 
And it's not even that book, it's what's just inside it. Uh, the British Museum. Okay, okay. Dear Mr. Crabtree, thank you for your letter. I forwarded the photographic image you sent to the department that specialises in encryption, inscription in ancient texts. They have sent me the most interesting information. Although they were unable to place the symbol within any known language, it is quite clearly, to a comparative degree, similar to the cave paintings recently discovered on the remote Scottish island of Trockmore. Uh, the cave paintings are decorated with geometric patterns, often incorporating circles and symmetrical flourishes. We were able to suggest some possible meanings of interpretations of the symbol. The circular enclosed centre suggests some form of entrapment of closure. The arms would be the energy enforcing the trap. The fact that there are four of them also suggests some homage to nature, either the four winds, four earth stones, etc, etc. Uh, this is all in keeping with the Celtic or the Celtic traditions of the time. Uh, dating the cave is a near impossible task, and a tentative approximation would place its last usage around the 3rd century BC. This, you understand, places your symbol's origins in a most interesting time of British history. Please write again with information of where you took the photograph. Perhaps a dig could be arranged. Right. Okay, I'm wondering if actually... Hang on, I've got this on a piece of paper now. Was that describing one of the, the symbols in the cavern? Or was that another one we haven't found? Hmm. Or maybe it was that circle with the sort of four things coming out of it, possibly? I don't know. Again, maybe something I'll consider later. Let's just sort of go through the third floor, picking up as much information as we can, and I'll delve into it in between videos, possibly. I don't know. Uh, we got a... <laughs> We've got a glitch down here. Okay. Um, sure? Oh, I see. Uh, well, we saw you downstairs. You were, f you were the fifth, weren't you? And you were eighth. Ah, oh! <laughs> and you must be the first. Oh, hang on. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, damn, one of the lyrics has been lost. Taken from me. It consumed it. It knows what I plan. It must know. The incantation will not work if the verse is incomplete. I'm not giving up. There are helpful words to digest in the alchem uh, uh, alchemistic guides and dictionaries. I have learnt that the means by which we released it will also allow me to see its nemesis. I will see the missing lyric. I must work on. The runes need casting. Sure, uh, yeah, maybe it was describing this. Salvation and damnation? Is that what it means? Maybe. Maybe, okay. Lyrics, right. Uh, yeah, alright, anything else in here? Oh, it's the bottom half of that photograph, wasn't it? Chalk and bronze. Chalk and bronze, okay. Okay, good to know. So it's... It seems to be some sort of, like, bowl? And there's a cir I guess a chalk circle or something around it with these symbols placed accordingly. Interesting. Okay, let me just let me just draw that up. I'll, I'll have another look at the uh, the top half in a moment. I think. Okay. So that's chalk. That's bronze. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's put that down. Anything hidden in the lid of this box? I think it's just these two, to be honest. Mm, yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, is, is that that? I suppose that's that. That's a bit weird, though, isn't it, really? Uh, okay. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. What about over here on this wall? Nothing. And, of course, nothing. Okay. So... There you go. Oh, hang on, shit, no, wait, that's it! That's it right there! Oh, and they're right here, I don't have to find them or anything? Oh, shit, okay, hang, uh, hang on, so... Chalk... Well, I suppose that would be the white one, that would go about here. Is something meant to happen? Did I get these wrong, maybe? Maybe I did. Do they lock into place or something? Hang on. Maybe you have to be extremely precise. I think it's something like that? But maybe I'm just not quite getting it at the moment. Or maybe I'm, I'm missing something. Hmm. Okay, I, I'll, I might come back to this later. I haven't quite cracked this, it seems. That's a bit of a shame. Uh, yeah. Nothing else down here, is there, on the screen? Nothing on the chairs, nothing on the carpet that I want to have a look at? Okay, I think we're leaving. We'll, uh, we'll obviously have to come back. Uh, yeah, let's try room A. It's unlocked. Okay, hey. Oh, right, is this where the, um, the painter's staying? 
I uh, I like his smudged artwork. It's nice. But we can't have a look at it. Oh, yeah, Arthur. There you go. 39. Hey there. Can I do anything with you? Your paintings? Your art supplies? What's this over here? Oh, hang on. Didn't we see a photo of this? Yeah, those books on the shelf. Must have been from, like, over there somewhere. But, yeah, okay, there's... There might be something to this. What's that? Ah. Ooh. Oh, right, yeah, there's obviously something to do with the tables. And now we know what table four looks like. So I think we know what three look like. Or, or, or what three are. We know what two look like, and we know that one has already got the number on it. It's just the other two. Still not exactly sure what that's going to help us with. But okay. Okay. More information. Sure. Nothing else in the books, though, and we can't do anything with the candle, I don't think. No? Okay. Can't have a look at the book. I'm kind of surprised about that. What's this? What's this red box? Poe paints. Okay. And lots of books. Is one missing? Maybe? Huh. They all look mind-numbingly boring, so I'm not having a look at any of them, apparently. Uh, or I don't know what to look at. Maybe that's the problem. Alright, let's back away. Anything happening in this room, by the way? No, just like across the hall, absolutely nothing, it looks like. All fine. Uh, okay. So, here we go. Ooh! Is he trapped in his painting or something? Or is that maybe a, a depiction of it? I don't know. Pretty interesting, though. Let's let's put it back. <laughs> okay, then. Let's take a look at his art supplies, shall we? More of these Poe paints. More photos, sure. Trying to crack a self-portrait, I suppose. All right. Oh, what's this? Oh, oh shit! Something I actually picked up. Uh, it's a, a drawing of a bird on a branch. And I have absolutely no idea how I'm actually going to use this. Really. Huh. <laughs> Weird. Uh, okay, okay. Another photo over there, but we can't have a look at that. What am I going to do with that? Any theories, any hints, any tips in the comments would be appreciated. Playing this with your help is obviously a lot easier. Um, what's this? Rural rides in the southern, western, and eastern counties of England. Okay. Sure. It was just that, was it? There's no uh, other side to it or anything. No, apparently not. Okay. Are we done with this? I think we might be done with this. They... Can I do something with this? I don't know. Shine the light on it. Screwdriver it. Key it. Give money. No, can't do any of that. Okay. What's this over here? Oh. Why is it flashing like that? Are you going to talk to me? Do I have to do something here? If I do, it's not with the items that I've got. Hmm. There does seem to be some sort of magical property to this, though. Oh! Now you're whispering. Weird, weird. What about down there? Here we go, here we go! I'm saying that like I found some sort of secret, when in fact it just seems to be another fairly useless screen. Never mind. Oh, never mind. You can't win them all, I suppose. What do we got over here? Ah, right. Uh, well, this might come in useful later on. Can we turn both of these? No. Oh. Oh, it's not working. What about down there? Can we have a look down there? Yep. Ah, hang on. Was that it? It just wasn't getting through. Let's try it again. Ah, yes, okay. Now we need to use something on it. Let's try everything just in case. Oh, shit. What are we doing? Betty, T-Y-M-A, Fly, Morcana, Grable, Frenic, Edith, Ixium. Great. So I can just keep reburning this? Okay. Betty, Fly, Grable, Edith, these are all people who either work or stay in the hotel, right? Time, Morcana, Frenic, Ixium. Uh, is, is that like Lussa? Are these the names of the symbols we might find? It's quite possible. It really is quite possible. Okay, okay. 
Okay, I, uh, I've already, you know, I've got this recorded, so I'll, I'll have a look at that later on. Hmm, yeah. So, uh, I might know fly symbol now. I might know 2B symbol. I might know the 2B symbol name. Yeah, I get it. Okay. But let's see. I actually did want to have a look down here. Can we open this up? Yes, we can. What do we got? We got turpentine and Arthur's magic lemon ink, which sounds disturbing, but yeah, sure. Let's assume it is, in fact, lemon ink and not something else. What's this over here? Something I can't interact with, much like everything else here, because I don't know what I'm doing with it, probably. We've still got plenty of room for items. I just need to know I need to pick them up, I think. Anything else? Uh, yes. Oh, shit. Okay. Crack the code, everybody. I'll, I'll give you a hint, actually. Somebody told me this after I'd already cracked it. I didn't realize, but... In this, uh, in this, in this code, basically A is Z, B is Y. It's like the first letter of the alphabet is the last letter of the alphabet. It's that easy. <laughs> if I'd have known that, that would have helped me out a great deal. But, uh, with that, you should be able to do this yourself. I'll do this later on. Cool. Okay. But that's that. Okay. Nothing on the carpet, underneath the floorboards or anything like that. I don't think so. I guess we have to close the door before we exit, yeah? Yeah, okay. And, uh, is that that? We've got, like, a table down here that I can't really have a look at, unfortunately. Hmm. Well, there you go. That was a mysterious item, but it's not so mysterious anymore. That's going to help us out a great deal. Right, well, let's, let's leave, uh, and let's try the door at the end of the hallway. Seems like a much shorter corridor this time. Oh, oh, it's not. I see. Ah, okay. Why is there a separating door? Weird. Hmm. And there aren't actually, like, letters on these rooms. Maybe this is where the staff were. I don't know. Let's try this one over here. Uh, okay. Well, it's nothing to do with that. Probably everything to do with that. Can we have a look? Yeah, okay. Ah. Yeah, let's change it a bit. <laughs> you don't mean to tell me that's been running for like 50 years, right? Ah, uh, I see how that works. What's this one? Ah, uh, it does nothing. That's quite nice. Fife Ness, west by north. Yeah, let's maybe keep it on that. That might help me out. Let's see. Okay. What do we got over here? Let's start with the Dorchester Messenger. Police search for missing child. Again about Timothy Pike, it seems. Yeah. Alright. Anything else? Nope, nothing down on the seat. Nothing down below the table, I don't think. Okay. Anything around the radio? Apart from the radio itself. No. Got a couple of, uh, not paintings this time. Well, that one's a painting. That seems to be a photo. Well, maybe it's not, actually. Hmm. Either way, just a nice detail. What about down here? Can we have a look down at this table? Yep, yes we can. English Civil War in Dorset, Ghosts, Myths, and Legends of the Southwest by Christine Smith. <sighs> Ooh, again, something I might tackle later on, but feel free to pause the video. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> More than two pages? I'm going to save my voice. Okay. But that's that. That red book, that doesn't bear any, any interest to us, I'm afraid. Sure. Okay. That seems to be it. I might be wrong. Unless it's got something to do with the radio stations, I don't know. Let's... Yeah. A bit more classical, maybe. Does something happen if I change radio stations? Unlikely, isn't it, really? But just in case. No, I don't think so. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Let's, uh, let's leave. Let's go across the hall to... I don't know, whatever this is. Okay, ooh. Oh, why was that so dark? That was kind of weird, actually. There was some dark presence in the room just before I entered, maybe. I don't know. 
Oh, light switch. Huh. Uh, okay. What have we got here? Oh, happy day! Memories of Scunthorpe. Lovely ones, I bet. Alright. Funky looking frames. Has it got something to do with the frames? No? I don't think so. Uh, what's down here? What have we got down here? Hang on. What have we got in the drawers? Ooh, what are these? Uh, I actually have no idea. One below it? No, no, it's just this one drawer we can have a look at. But that's that, alright. Couple of books. Glasses, no. I can wind the clock though. Okay, yeah, sure. I can sort of see what they're going for there. Oh, check this out. Oh, there is an electromagnetic source within two meters somewhere in this room. Right by me. Okay, okay. Right, let's put that away. What have we got? Let's, uh, yeah, let's move over here towards the desk. Okay, we've got two more music sheets. Good old Dow Ale, which we uh, poured a little bit of on the floor last time, I think. And on Hastings Pier. But yeah, we can't have a look at any of those, unfortunately. Hmm. Okay, what about the wardrobe? Nothing in the wardrobe? We can't interact with that at all. Are these separate? They are actually separate, okay. Oh. Why am I turning this around? Ah, oh! Don't get the breeze up, knees up, mother. Brown Joe needs practice. Ooh! Would this have anything to do with the piano? It might. It might. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I can try and replicate that on the keys. Alright. But again, why don't we take this with us? <laughs> oh, it's a nightmare. Okay, much like with a lot of things in this video, I'm just going to have to look at my recording later on, note everything down, and, and try everything next time. But okay, that's, that's a nice find. Nothing along the bottom sort of rim of the wardrobe, nothing underneath the table. No? What if we turn it another way? Can we, can we play this or something? No? We blow on it? No? No, I think it's just that. Oh, I see. That's why we could turn it around. Yeah, you can only view it when you're looking at it from this direction, which is kind of weird, but okay. Uh, what about the desk itself? Okay. Activity, yeah. What's that? Oh, a metronome, I see. Okay, ooh. Ooh. Some sort of ghostly writings. Okay. Dearest Thomas. I'm dead nervous. I've done one of these music nights before, but I do not recall me being so scatty. I'm a bundle of nerves. I think it's that horrible song that I've been practicing. Though I still hate it. It's dead common. I uh, hope you'll be alright in that empty room. I've left you a pack of cards and some beer. Musical memories should end about midnight. Then I'll be straight up to get that cuddle you promised me. My ma'am seems a bit melancholy tonight. She's listening to that blasted old song on her gramophone. Over and over again. At least she hasn't got it as loud as it was. In fact, I can hardly hear it. She must have the volume down very low. Thank goodness. Okay. And there's more. Uh, I nearly forgot to say, I'll get a short break during the interlude, so I might be able to leave the bar for a time. I cannot come to see you, in case anyone sees me. My man would have heart failure if she knew that you, that you were staying here. So if you need anything, leave me a note in the storeroom. I'll find it. Uh, whatever you do, do not open that door unless it's me. That fly woman that's staying here is a right nosy cow. She might go poking around while we're all in the bar. Try and have a good time, and I'll be up as soon as I can. Love, Betty. Okay. And P.S. Where did you tell your dad you were going? You might be in the bar tonight. Most of the village will be. Weird. Is that because I was playing with the metronome? That was very weird. Okay, yeah. <laughs> no reflection of it either. It's some weird vampire paper. Uh, okay. But that's that. And it's gone. Because that stopped. Huh. <laughs> nice little detail. Okay. Alright. Well, uh, that 
appears to be that for the desk. Anything over here? No more musical sheets or anything on the wall. The bed? Can we get a better look at the drawers? No. Okay, that's interesting. Anything on top of the wardrobe? No. Yeah, that's very much interesting. I think I should go pay the piano another visit. Obviously, I'm going to have to do it at some point, but that might be the key to uh, to solving that puzzle. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think we're doing pretty well. At least in, you know, getting the information to begin with. Okay, so let's head towards Henry VIII. Was this how you meant to figure out that that's Henry VIII? Uh, he's probably the most famous of the Tudors and everything, so... <laughs> I spent like a year in school learning about him, so that's why I recognise him straight off the bat. Okay, what have we got in here? Let's uh, let's start by having a look at the desk. Sure. Okay, not what I thought I would be doing, but okay, what's this? Why is eating in wartime? Ah. <laughs> that's that. Nothing else? What's this? Oh, maybe. Ah. Oh, like a photo book. My dining room outfit of 1938. What a dish. There's more. Okay. Oh, that's Betty, is it? Is that a missing photo? Like someone pulled that out? Maybe. Hmm. Well, this is quite nice. Maybe these were real people who actually worked in the train station. I'm not really sure how, how far or how deep this game goes with uh, how true it is and everything. Oh, was that it? Just those two? Yeah, apparently so. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to do. <laughs> uh, no? What's this? Mum, do you remember to remove the Carrington clock from room 2B? I'm sure I heard that stroppy tart from London fiddling with it. There's nothing in it, but I don't want her thinking she's all clever and stuff. Again from Betty. P.S. I hope she goes soon. She was telling Mr. Verney that the photographs in her room were grim. Cow. Ooh, some venom to this relationship. Goodness gracious me. Okay. Some nice earrings. I'm surprised more of this stuff wasn't stolen, really. Like, those paintings there? I mean, the, the latest originals and stuff? I guess he wasn't all that famous, but... Alright. What about the other side over here? No? Just the hairbrush? No uh, magical writing? No magical paper this time? Okay... Anything? Nothing. All right. Oh, coat hanger. Hmm. Nothing this time. All right. Oh, what's this? A local music night, a success. Ah, oh, bloody hell! Newspaper worthy. A truly wonderful evening was had by all at the last musical memories night at the Station Hotel in the village of Dowerton. Presented by landlord Frank Penfold, local musicians were invited to attend and play new and traditional pieces to a local and visiting crowd. The hotel, situated immediately next to the station was busy with visitors stopping over before travelling onto Cornwall. Owner of the hotel, George Crabtree, said, We will be having many more of these nights. It is a marvellous opportunity for local musicians and singers. Great. And a light switch, which, like most of the others in this place, doesn't work. Because why would I manipulate it, right? Okay. Right? Okay. Anything? Yes, yes! Are you the one carrying on George's work? If so, you should know that there are 12 of those weird symbols. I had one. Betty had one. The guests had one each too. Not all of them remain anymore. Lost, destroyed, or taken. It knows what you're doing. You'll have to be careful. <laughs> my symbol is in my room. You'll find it. If you have a song in your heart, can you sing? I no. love a good song. Frank loved a good song too. Bless him. I'm going now. The others are waiting. They're waiting for you too. Listen, love. Don't join them. It already has your brother. Pete, isn't it? Sad it is. So young. It's not right. It's listening now to everything I tell you. You'd better be careful. <laughs> okay. Some of that sounded pretty sincere. Some of that sounded like she was sort of phoning it in. It's just like sighing as she was saying like, ah. <sighs> Damn. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, sure. That's kind of confirmed what I thought was going to happen. I think we're looking we're looking for these symbols. Yeah, we're looking for the names. 
And if she's not completely bullshitting me, there should be one in this room. Is that right? It's got something to do with the music then, hasn't it? Hmm. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, sure. What else we got in here? Ah, right. Was this what Betty was talking about? I suppose it might have been. Can we get this up and running? Here we go. Yep, no. This, ah. Oh, there we go, that was the on. That was the on switch. You drag this across, no? You wind it up? Oh, I see. Oh wow, we can be very specific with this. Okay, and that turns it right off. That, hang on. Let's just wind that up again. Let's put it back. Shit. Yeah, there we go. I know Betty mentioned the music should be, like, really loud. Very loud indeed. Okay. And there. Oh, here we go. A Little Light Music by Bond Street Music. Didn't we? Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm sort of regretting that decision to turn the volume up. Let's turn it right back down so I can actually sort of think. Didn't we see? We saw on Hastings Pier in the other room, didn't we? Let me just let me just go back. I'll be back in a moment. Oh, guess we can't open that door. Right. Over here? Was it in this room? Or was it in the other one? No, it was in this one. Uh, okay. Oh, happy day, memories of Scunthorpe. Maybe it was the other two. Good old oh, on Hastings Pier, yeah. Is it something to do with that? Let's just go back. That way. In there, yep. And it's still playing. Interesting. Oh, no, it isn't. Weird. <laughs> So which one was it? That's number two. Can we actually see, like, or play all 14? I assume that's the record that's on, right? But hang on. That, I assume that would be one. Maybe that's two. Ah! Shit! Fucking hell! Alright, I feel like a genius right now. Okay, what's this? What? It's a little weird. Uh, Edith, hide this scrap in a safe place. I know you think that I've lost my mind, but you must learn to trust me on this. I wanted you to leave the hotel and take Betty with you, but it's too late. Arthur and I disturbed something. Something that should have stayed dormant. Arthur has taken the secret to his grave. To the grave. I am not so lucky. I have divided the only key to our salvation into pieces. I have given a piece to each of you and the guests. It was the only way of guarding its location from the evil which stalks us. My research is our only chance. Remember this word, Ixium. A strange word, I know. And by the morning you can forget it for good, if I am successful. Which I guess he wasn't. Uh, lastly, do not open your door this night unless you know for sure who it is that calls on you. Much like he uh, put in the other note. Yours, George. Right, this? It's another symbol, and I, I'm i assuming I've, I've written this down. Probably one of the symbols that I've got. Yeah, it's the uh, the second to last one. And what did he say? What was it called? Hang on. Uh, let's see. Uh, so that would be on the third floor. I don't know if that's really important, but I'm just noting that down. What did he say it was called? Ixium? Ixium. I assume it's called Ixium. Alright, we're starting to get somewhere with this. Still got a lot of these uh, symbols to find. And a lot to name, but yeah. We're getting somewhere with this. Okay. That was really cool. That was that was a very clever way of doing it. There you go, there you go. Um Did I did I just put that back? I guess I did. Okay. Uh have you got anything else to say? Are you the one carrying on George's work? Evidently not. <laughs> Been there, done that. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? 
Can't manipulate the light. I assume we're done with playing the record. There's nothing on the lid. I keep checking the lids of boxes and stuff now, you know? Uh, and we had a look at that before. Right, let's leave, and let's encounter a door that we actually can't get through. Barkey? Not gonna work. And I can't believe it, but we still actually haven't found that silver teapot yet, have we? We still haven't found a key inside it to get into, uh, Nigel's room. Right. Okay, much like the other floors. Yeah, two rooms to have a look at. I assume this is a bathroom? It is, yeah. Looks slightly different. Looks a little nicer, actually. Okay, what have we, uh, what have we got to play with in this one? The sink? No, we don't play with the sink in this one. Nothing on the shelf that I want to have a look at. No towels. The light? No. The bath. Can I run the bath? No. Okay, can't use anything in here by the looks of it. Oh. No, we can have a look at the sink behind us. Why? Why is that a thing? Oh, oh shit, shit. <laughs> I actually wanted to turn around then, but uh, yeah, sure. Hello? What? No, 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 no. We might be onto something here. God, it's really dark. I really do want to use the lantern to get a better look. There's some things in there, but I don't know. I guess I don't know what to do with them, so I can't pick them up. Nothing on the top that I want to have a look at either. Okay. All right, let's close this up. But yeah. What's the deal with this? Is there some sort of subtle difference? Can I move this mirror to have a look at the other mirror? I mean, hmm. I'm a little bit confused, honestly, but uh, I'll um, I'll think about this in between videos. There you go. That's a good excuse. Let's leave. Okay, let's try the other room. Is it another storeroom? Uh oh, oh, is this how we get to the attic? Maybe, maybe. Um, I'll go there in a moment, I suppose. Let's see what we're dealing with. Okay, let's start with the shelves. Sophie soap, sure. Nothing down there. Yeah. Lots of shampoo. And over there by the looks of it. And we've got some boxes down there. Can we have a look down there? No. What about up here? Nothing there. Okay. A wall. A door. And what have we got here? Uh, Mum. The water tank is playing up again. I think we should call the plumbers. Please. I don't want a repeat of last time. That filthy water ruined all the stuck in this storeroom. What's the number for the plumber? I'll call him. Anyway. Apart from that, I've done the stock check too. Nothing much to report, except that someone is coming in here and moving stuff around. Nothing's missing, which is what makes it really strange. So, so what? We have a thief that doesn't like none of our stuff? That's a bit insulting. Uh, they haven't even touched the towels. Well, someone has now. Uh, it took me hours to sew the station name onto each one of them. And what happens? No one wants to nick them. <laughs> She'll be pleased, I suppose. She's obviously not. Uh, anyway. About this strange thief. Somehow they're getting in here without my key. You haven't lent it to anyone recently, have you? I can't think of any other explanation. Unless it's one of George's ghosts. That would be funny. A ghost that likes to tidy up shelves of cosmetic products. Haha, <laughs> yeah, okay. You love PSs, don't you? I hate to moan, but I cannot practice while you're li you listen to that music so loud. If I'm not ready for music night, then we will both look like fools. I know why you like that song so much, and I want you to listen to it, but please, please keep it down tonight. I need to blow my trumpet. Oh, what a joke. Yeah, okay. Another clue to solve the puzzle that uh, I managed to to figure out. And what's this? The stock list. Okay. So soap, toilet roll, shampoo, towels, bed linen. Um, okay. Are these actually all like are these like phone numbers? Dowerton 376, London 5282. I mean, I know there's a phone. Do we actually have to call anyone? Those numbers wouldn't be in service these days, I suppose, so, hmm. Is there something wrong with them? Normally people nick them. <laughs> very, very upset about that. Uh, yeah. Couple of business cards. Yeah, Dowerton 376. Maybe I'll have to uh, do something with these. Um, all right. Oh, oh, right. I was actually meaning to have a look at this. Again, we saw a photograph of this on uh, the Haddon Industries little cam thing. 
So maybe there was some ghostly activity on these lights and these drawings. But there's nothing interesting about them right now. So what I'm going to do is just back away and we're going to have a look at more shelves. I guess we're done with that one. What about up here? Hang on. Hey, hey. Hey, is this... This is the teapot. This is the key. This is the key. Oh, it doesn't tell me, but yet I assume this is going to be the key to the second floor door. I think that's where uh, Nigel and Polly were staying. Although I guess it could be the one on the third floor as well. I, yeah, okay, okay. I'm getting all excited now. <laughs> uh, yes, 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 yes. Okay, so we can't do anything else with the shelves. What about down here? Or oh, when we look down there? Nothing. Really? Nothing? Okay. Uh, okay. Creepy. And yet nothing. Creepier. <laughs> Alright. Should we have a look at the attic or should we go and check out Nigel's room? I kind of want to check Nigel's room out, to be honest. But first of all, let's go up here, shall we? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so, the aforementioned attic. And this is playing up, is it? Oh Christ, okay, so this is perhaps why we need to mess with it. Do we do that? No? Well, maybe we don't, maybe we don't. Wait, what's down there? Is that just the same thing? It's the same thing, okay. Right. Where are we going to go? That way or that way? I guess we want to check out everything, so let's go this way. Let's see about... Oh. Oh. Oh, that didn't sound good. Wait, I'm wondering. Because I turned that, is that going to uh, activate these at all? Oh, yeah, yeah, there you go, there you go. Hey. I can do something. What? Oh, hang on. We got something going on. It's going from the green to the red. Is that good? And it's gone. Is there something to do with this? No. Oh! Is that staying in the red? Nah, it's gone again. Um, okay. I don't actually know what I'm doing here. Maybe I should call some people? Is that... Is that what I need to do? I don't know. Well, again, I've, I've said this a lot of times in this video. I'm, I'm very sorry about that, but I think I'll have to come back to it later. Uh, what about over here? Okay, Oh, Why can I have a look at this in such detail? <laughs> Thought I'd give it a try. It's not working. Okay. Nothing else down here? Alright, well, let's back away and let's... Uh, well, that's pretty much it, isn't it? We gotta go this way now. <laughs> Maybe that's how I get into that locked room on the third floor. Maybe I fall through the floorboards. Go straight through the ceiling. Wouldn't that be something? Okay, there doesn't actually seem to be anything to do on this screen apart from move to another one, so... Let's see. What's this? Okay. Do I have a key? <laughs> Is it this? Or this? No. Oh, the screwdriver works. Fuck, I was wondering about that. Okay. Are you just going to jam it in or something? Or do you need something else? Are we trying to lockpick this? I guess so. Oh. Give it a wiggle. Uh. I. Right. Over there, over there, up there. Can't seem to do much else, to be honest. Huh. Is there an art to this, or do I just have to keep playing with it until it works? Or maybe I need to find a hammer just to, like, fuck it completely up. Don't know. Don't actually know. How, how detailed do I need to be? Is there subtle movements I can do? It... Oh. Oh shit, I've done it! Somehow. Genuinely have no idea how I did that, but sure. We're, uh, we've done it. War of the Worlds, man. Awesome. 
It feels quite nefarious, creeping around the hotel in the dead of night, asking favours of complete strangers, hiding my scraps of knowledge in secret places. Perhaps it has become a deadly game, some sort of lethal puzzler. The evil has haunted me so long, I can hardly remember anything else. Except Arthur, of course. It is here with me. I can sense it watching me from the dark corners of this attic. It whispers quietly, soothingly, promising temptations and exploration. How easy it would be! Who are you, anyway? I leave you notes, clues, and guidance, and I do not even know your name. It is obvious I will fail. Otherwise, I would not need you. Please help me. I'm sorry. I'm astute enough to realize that your being here means that it has been... that it has... fed again. Was it you? Was it a loved one, perhaps? My thoughts are with you. I hope my body rots in the ground in your time, decayed, unknown, and unloved. Do not pity me, these thoughts. It is all I can wish for. You see, if I failed, which I obviously did, otherwise you would not be reading this, it means that it has my soul, kept in continuous torment. Uh, it's how it feeds, you know. Has it fed again? Is that why you're here? Will we ever rid ourselves of this miscreation? The ancients, who understood the nature of this beast, only succeeded in trapping it. Here. What more can I lend to you? My journal if you have not read it already, will inform you of how Arthur and I released our opponents. I hope it is of some use to you. As I sit here writing this, I wonder what in your world would amaze me. I know nothing about you, of your existence. I also wonder if my family missed me. I doubt it. They may be wealthy, but that is never a guarantee of happiness and immortality. Hopefully they burnt this place after this night, and these words flickered and died in a white heat, along with all the others. Ever yours, my unknown friend, George. The lyric for this symbol is Oliviac. Okay, Oliviac, and which one's that? That is the third one. Apparently that's Oliviac. Okay, we are getting somewhere with this, guys. We really are. And I think once I really study what we, uh, what we saw on this piece of paper up here, there's probably only like three or four to find. All right, that, that's Olivia. Great. Okay, anything else in here that we need to have a look at? No. But there you go. Yeah. I felt I got kind of lucky with the screwdriver, honestly, but uh, I just kept trying and eventually I succeeded. There you go. <laughs> neat. Very neat. I like that. Okay. So that is that. Anything else? Still can't have a look at these boxes. And nothing in amongst the chairs or on the wall, I don't think. Okay, let's keep going into the dark corners of the attic. Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. What's this? Oh, we've got some activity now. <laughs> Not surprising, really. Let's have a look at the orb, though. The orb went through this window. Can we have a look at the window? What's this? Oh, it's a fucking Ouija board, man. Can we... Oh, man. I... Say? Really? <laughs> Hi? I can actually type... Uh, hello? Shit, it's working. Hello, yes. I guess someone's listening. This is interesting. This is very interesting indeed. Okay. But I've been playing for a long, long time, and there's a lot of information I need to get through, so I'm going to leave it on a bit of a cliffhanger, I suppose. Hope to see you back in part five, where we'll hopefully try and figure out exactly who we're communicating with here with this Ouija board. Uh, it seems I can type freely, so if you have any suggestions on what I should say, put them down below in the comments, and I'll see what responses I get from this mysterious character, either him or her. Um, we need to fix the water tank. There's a lot of reading I need to do in between videos. We probably need to go back down to the piano, and of course I've got this key now, so I should be able to enter Nigel's room, so we need to do that. But that's all going to happen in part 5, okay? Thanks for watching, see you next time. Uh, we got a... <laughs> We've got a glitch down here. Now we need to use something on it, let's try everything just in case! Oh shit! Oh god, yeah. <laughs> More than two pages, I'm going to save my voice. It knows what you're doing, you'll have to be careful. <laughs> My symbol. Uh, ah! Shit! Fucking hell! Alright, I feel like a genius right now! Ooh. Ooh, that didn't sound good.
I can actually type. Uh, hello? Shit, it's working. 